All right, so we're at hole one at Creepcore Hillside. Um, we don't know how far it is. We're trying to check U-Disc now, but basically you just have to throw out of this tunnel and be left or right because there's kind of a big tree bush that blocks the hole. So left gives you an opening, right gives you an opening. So just don't mess up the drive. It's what? 450. 450. Almost did the first of it. That'll work. Got to get. As well. <laughs> the grip lock. Push. There you go. You got par from there. It's perfect. Probably like 150 to 200 out. Yeah, I have no idea how far it is. Just gonna go with an envy and hope for the best. I probably need to do one step. Not chance though. That looks good. Yeah, hopefully that's a putt. But I really don't know. I have no idea. It's right through those trees if you can't see it. Probably about, what do you think, Brent? Like 60 feet away right now? 60, 70 feet, yeah. For sure. You went for the hard line. <laughs> you should have thrown a hyzer. <laughs> Well, I didn't, I didn't get that one fast enough. There's a five foot putt. So we're at hole two. I think it's like two to 300 feet. I'm not really sure. It's just a straight shot. You either take a super tight backhand for a hyzer or really easy wide forehand. So I'm gonna go with the backhand. Forehand sucks. Oh, that's money. No way. Hard. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Don't do that. Come out, come out, come out. It's a good kick. Should be on the edge. Yeah. It's a long putt. It's a bit. Easy par. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, kill me. That would have been sick. <laughs> NB. Not good news. <laughs> Hole three, it's like 500 feet. It's an extremely tight tunnel with just tons of woods on the left. Uh, my goal is to try to land on this landing zone that's up here that you might not be able to see. I'm gonna try and throw a jawbreaker wasp and just flex it up there. Squared it. <laughs> Fine. It was I like can... in slow motion <laughs> yeah. watching this. The bird's telling me that uh, the only option I really have here is to go OB on the road, so that's what we're going to go for. <laughs> hit the tree. No, not that one. You really yelled hit the tree. I wanted to hit that second tree. For the six. Thank God I got a birdie on the last hole. For the five. Oh, what a hole. What a hole. So I got the box back. Uh, we're about 300 feet from the pin. It's kind of straight through there, but as you can see, the ceiling is super low. Uh, Bert said to go forehand here, but I'm definitely just going to go for a backhand and go for par because there's no chance I'm going to make that pin. <laughs> could go for a roller. Yeah, I could go for a roller. If you have a roller in the bag. The Vegeta truth. The Vegeta truth. Oh, that worked. 
work. You found an opening. Have putt. There I wouldn't go. say I got a putt. <laughs> it's a long putt. Long putt, still a putt. All right, we're gonna go with the beat up Raptor. Hopefully it stands up a bit. My forehand has not been good. Oh, that was horrible. Hit something, drop. That's what I was worried about. Thank you. At least you can go deep in the woods. <laughs> Would not enjoy it. All right, so like 150 feet left, we're gonna go with the forehand. Oh, let's pipe it. How's the forehand been lately? It's not been good. And this one's gonna be perfect. Never mind. All good trees, bad trees. All right. We are playing scramble golf now. These are the wrong putter. All right. So after the triple bogey on the last hole, we're going for bogey on this hole. We got it. This is a nice little pop. That was too far. Big putt. One. Uh, good putt. Good putt, Jordan. Good job, boys. You saw people putting at a basket. That's mm. the basket for this hole, so it just goes all the way around. So what is it like 500? I don't know actually. I wonder if you just catch it. It's my tee box again. <laughs> all right, so we're on hole five now. Um, it's 560. It's, we can't actually see the pin from here, but you're just going to kind of follow the trail left, the fairway left. Um, I'm going to go with the Onyx, the Paul Macbeth bottom stamp. Um, and yeah, I'm going to easily birdie this one, so. Good shot. Hopefully it didn't go in the brush. No, I think that's fine. Z Vulture. Where did that go? Well, oh, that was grip, that was a man. mess. There goes Birdie. That's called bogey golf. That is killer. Keeps me in the keeps me in the tee box. 400. So we're at hole six. Bird says it's 400. Udisk says it's 314. Either way, just to protect myself from the grip lock, I'm gonna go instinct because I know it's gonna go right on accident. Finish left. Part three. Part three. Edge of the woods, but it didn't hit a car. All right, we're going with the vulture again. Nice team call this time. Oh, get down. That'll work. Oh, you were saved. All right. Good Bogey job! Golf. Bogey golf. Oh, 
Nice. Alright, this is hole seven. seven. Hole seven. It's like 250 feet. It's just straight down there, so really easy putter shot. Not much more to it. Got the box back finally. Get up. Oh, it's in. Alright, that's putting. I'm gonna throw it very hard. Hope it doesn't finish too far left. These tee boxes are very cool, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna go zone here. This tree's kind of in my way, which is annoying. So I'm just gonna try to hyzer it in. Good bids, well done. Alright, well, after a wonderful drive, I just got a nice little 15 footer, 10 footer to tie zone in. We don't miss those. Ah, he's got an eagle right now. <laughs> All tied up after a shitty first session. Basically, it was like a what, 280 maybe? Yeah, right into these woods right here. So I landed a little bit uh, left of it, and I'm just gonna try to put the uh, zone in right over the top. Or I'll hit a branch. I hate you. <laughs> you hate. With my own putter, you jackass. <laughs> With his putter. <laughs> Alright, so we're going into hole nine. I am up one on Zoran. Brought it back in those last couple holes, so hopefully we don't lose in the back nine. He's kind of a back nine bandit. Hole nine's pretty simple. I want to say it's like around 300. I haven't ranged it, but it just goes straight up to the right. So I'm just going to try to throw a turnover right. with a wasp. Uh oh. You going to the tennis court? No, thankfully I got over it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going with the Van Dyken Meteor. I'm going to do something similar to Bert, but a little less Annie, so hopefully I don't go into the tennis court swim. Needs a bit more height. Uh, I'm going to actually switch up the game here, and we're going to switch to the Wizard. I'm done with the Luna. Luna's been treating me like crap today, so. We're going to Wiz. Okay. Alright, so that was the front nine at Hillside. All in all, I think it's a really fun course. Nice little wooded yeah, challenge. Like, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Hole three, hole four. Three if they just cleared <laughs> up some brush and got tee pads, this would actually be like a really nice course. Yeah, but it is yeah. A, it's really pretty. So yeah, it is nice out here. Make sure to stay tuned for the back nine coming out soon.